This is one change that's gonna help you hit the driver straight. Straight, straight, straight. Yes, you did hear me right. Now, this is something that I did with a student last week, and I thought, well, I've gotta share this with you. So, Robbie, he plays off five, and this is the change that we made to improve his strike with the driver. I want to break it down into two stages and we sort of kind of in his head made it as one because then that's a little bit more simple to take out on the golf course. So we're going to flip between the images that I took from the lesson and me talking through it right here because I think it's really important to understand. This is coming from a very good golfer but struggled with this situation. So we had this weak ball flight starting right, going further right and he just felt like he was really lacking in distance and that's a massive thing isn't it? As no matter what level of player we we are we want to hit it straight and we want to hit it long so first off what we did is if you come round to this aspect here for me when you follow me around here left hand was really nice on the golf club we had two and a half knuckles on his left hand and the crease between his thumb and his forefinger was pointing into his right shoulder now with the right hand it was very much over the top of the golf club so in this motion now, if you take your left hand off here, you can really see how little we can release this club. So the right hand was really very much on top and over, and the crease was pointing somewhere between our zip line and our logo. So if you come round and then come close up behind me here, you can see how this wrist is in this motion. So very much extended, very much pointing down towards the ground, and in a very, well, weak position on the club. What he felt was good was in a very weak position. So this was really limiting his ability to feel as though he could get a strong club face and hit this ball away. But let me tell you where that grip came from because you might be thinking, well, how can a good player literally change their grip from, from here to there? So we'd spoken about in previous lessons, really trying to feel this pressure on the downswing. So really trying to feel this right hand on top and this pressure in order to take his club face from a very open position at last parallel to somewhere which was around our spine angle. So he thought in his head, well, can I cheat this? His brain was telling me he could cheat this. Let's get the right hand on top actually to begin with. And he felt, oh, that feels brilliant. Well, look how the right hand's on top now, but the club face is open. And what I tend to find is if you've got a very weak right hand on the downswing, it tends to want to work even more open with the club face because it's trying to get back to what feels a more comfortable, more natural position. So what we feel here is, this is what we said. I want you to grip it in his fingers of his left hand. I want you to get, address the golf ball with just the left hand on the club. And if you're a left-handed player, just with your right hand on the club. And I want him to feel as though he came underneath, into the fingers, and then he felt like he covered up his thumb, but he covered up this section of his thumb. So imagine I had a highlighter here. We drew on this area of his thumb and his grip, and he wanted to cover up with his lifelines there, as opposed to covering up the whole thumb and on top. Top. and this really felt really strong in his hands it felt really good in terms of trying to feel like he could now release it and get that hand on top and that slight change made all the difference so real simple one there for Robbie of trying to feel as though we got that thumb into here and that was a great first stage guys if you are enjoying this video and you do enjoy me going between what i'm talking about here and then robbie on here on the left and we'll show you his swing right now please do hit that thumbs up button i would love to hear what you want to see on this channel i make this content for you so please do comment down below and let me know what you would like to see on this channel and you know what i'm going to say right here guys i really would appreciate it if you could hit that big red subscribe button join this team thank you so much for your support through the summer but let's make this channel and I'll go even bigger. Goal is wanting to get to 100,000, so really thank you to you for all your support. So the next stage of this, we spoke about the takeaway. How can we control this club through the takeaway? Because this grip made the golf club work a little bit different. So we wanted to go address the golf ball, hand on, feel as though we come underneath, into the fingers, on that right hand side of his left thumb, trying to feel as though now the takeaway was more of a unit. What we said by a unit, imagine we had some string attaching our shoulders to our left hand and our shoulders to our right hand and some string across here. Can we feel as though we keep the tension on the string 
We don't lose that tension and open that face. And again, this made the ball flight much stronger, straighter and longer. Simple tips make big differences. So on the golf course now, came back with some feedback saying his drives are great. He went a little bit left, but that was just him learning the new grip. Underneath, feel the takeaway, feel the takeaway, checkpoint matching spine, can we smash it away? And we started to hit drives, oh that was an absolute peach. Little fade round the corner. There we go, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. That will have to share that with you in terms of how Robbie went from his strike before to his strike now. Really simple things. Get that grip orientated better on the club, into the fingers, not really over the top with this right arm. It also has major benefits in terms of how this right arm works in the downswing. So make sure you go and try it. Really simple. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that big red subscribe button and see you tomorrow for an absolute cracker.